Right, I'm going to show you how I make my pancetta at home. The very first job is to apply the curing mix to the outside of the pork belly, which I've removed the skin and the bones from. First of all I weigh the pork and then I calculate the curing ingredients as a percentage of the total weight of the pork. The salt at 2.5%, the Instacure number 1 at 0.25% and the sugar, this is ordinary white granulated sugar, at 1.25%. I'll leave the details in the video description. This is a pretty cool equilibrium brine so the pork definitely won't be oversalted. And remember, any product that's been cured with Instacure number one must be cooked before eating. You can do this using just salt and sugar if you want to skip the Instacure. I'm not adding any additional spices at this stage as I'm going to use a very, very generous spice application a bit later on for the outside of the pancetta. And that's that. Wrap the belly up in a Ziploc bag, pop the date on it, and then we're going to put it in the fridge for seven days. And each day, we're just going to turn the bag over. After seven days, whip that out of the fridge. Now, there may or may not be some residual moisture left in the bag. Either way is absolutely fine. And here you can see what it looks like after it's come out of the cure. It's just started to firm up slightly. Now we'll give the pork belly a really good rinse under cold running water for a couple of minutes and then a quick pat dry with some kitchen paper. Into my spice grinder I've got one teaspoon of chilli flakes, one teaspoon of fennel, two teaspoons of black pepper and one teaspoon of coriander seeds. I'm going to grind this up so it's pretty fine but still got a nice little bit of texture. Next, I'm going to coat the pork belly really well in the spice mix. I'm probably going to use it more than most people here, but I absolutely love it. The perfume from the spices permeates through the meat and it gives it an awesome flavour. Of course, you can use any spice combination that works for you. I make pancetta specifically for my carbonara dish and after lots of playing around with different spices, I've settled on this combination, although I'm sure I'm always going to keep tweaking it just a little. The pancetta needs to be weighed so we can monitor the amount of moisture it loses during the final curing stage in the fridge. The pancetta is going to continue the curing process in the fridge covered in all that spice mix. I'll pop it onto a wire rack so the air can circulate all the way round. And of course you could hang this from a piece of string if you could find something to hang it from. And here we go. I left this pancetta curing in my fridge for 15 days and it lost 23% of its weight. This is pretty much spot on for me. It's not too dry, but it sautés really well for carbonara and has an excellent depth of flavour. This feels so good cutting through the pancetta. It's got the perfect texture. Now, if you do try this recipe or any of my others, do let me know how you get on. You can tag me over at Instagram or let me know in the comments below. And that's it, guys. This is how I make pancetta, my little secret weapon for my carbonara dish. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Stay tuned.